The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to find cases in Bloomberg Law. We will focus on finding cases using the Go Bar, the Home Page, Search and Browse, Practice Centers, and Litigation and Dockets. Let's first look at the Go Bar. You can find cases using the Go Bar by citation, by keywords, or by case name. To find by citation, you would enter in your citation, click on Citation Search, and your case will appear. To find by keywords, enter in your keywords, click on Court Opinions, and a list of results will appear. You can narrow your list of results by editing your keywords, choosing a specific date or range of dates, or by using the filters on the left side of the screen. To enter a case, simply click on the case name. To find a case by name, enter the name or names of your parties. In this instance, let's try Roe v. Wade. Enter in the party names, click on Court Opinions by Case Name, and a list of results will appear. Click on the name of your case to access that case opinion. Now let's look at accessing cases via the Home tab. When you're on the Bloomberg Law Home tab, you can access cases by clicking on Court Opinions inside the Getting Started box. From there you can use the table of contents to select a specific court or jurisdiction, or you can select sources to find the source you are looking for. Let's see if we can find 11th Circuit Court of Appeals and District Court Opinions for Georgia. We would click on the plus sign for Federal Court Opinions, then U.S. Circuit and District Courts, and then 11th Circuit and District Courts. From there we would click on 11th Circuit Court of Appeals and then each of the district courts for Georgia. Now when we run a search we would only be searching for cases that are 11th Circuit Court of Appeals cases or a Georgia District Court case. You can add an industry to further narrow your search by topic. Use the browse function to locate an industry. Let's try apartment leasing. First we would click on real estate and then apartment leasing. You can enter keywords to further narrow your search. I want to focus on contracts, so I will enter contract as a keyword. You can also narrow your search by specific case information. Finally, you can select a specific date or range of dates. Once you have made all your selections, hit search and your results will appear. Using the search and browse box, you can select either all legal content or court opinions. If you are just looking for cases, then you should only select court opinions. This will return you to the court opinion search screen that we looked at earlier. Using practice centers, you can select a practice area. In this instance, let's try health. From there, using the resources box, you can click on opinions and dockets, and select a jurisdiction or court to browse or search. Using litigation and dockets, you can select search court opinions, which will take you to the court opinion search box that we have already looked at, or you can select litigation resources. Litigation resources provide you with an outline of all of the different litigation resources in Bloomberg Law. For cases, you would focus on opinions and dockets located at the top of the page. Let's say I want to search for Supreme Court opinions. If we click on Search U.S. Supreme Court Opinions, we will come to the familiar Court Opinion search box, except this time Supreme Court Opinions will already be selected as a source to search across. Now that we know how to find cases in Bloomberg Law, let's explore what a case looks like. A case in Bloomberg Law will look similar to a case you would find in print. The first thing we will focus on are the features that are not a part of the case. At the top of the case you will see a set of tabs. The Document tab is the case. The b site tab takes you to the b site function, which we will discuss more in depth in another video. You should know that you will use b site to determine how court opinions have been cited by other courts so that you can ultimately determine whether a case is considered good law. Looking back at the Document tab, you will see b site information located on the right side of the screen. You can find the case citation and parallel citations at the top of the Document tab. The pagination symbols are located at the top of the case 
and lets you know which numbers in the case correspond to a specific reporter. A number with one star corresponds to the Supreme Court reporter, while a number with two stars corresponds to lawyer's edition. The page numbers apply to the text that appears after the page number. The caption includes information on the court, the party names, docket number, and the date it was decided. Following the caption you will find the syllabus, which is not a part of the opinion, but does provide a quick reference to the facts of the case and the holding. Following the syllabus you will find the opinion. At the beginning of the opinion you will find which justice or justices authored the opinion. You should also see that cases and other legal materials that are mentioned in the case will be hyperlinked so that you can access them instantly. The footnotes are also hyperlinked and will jump you down to the footnotes which are located at the end of the case. That is it for your overview of how to find cases in Bloomberg Law.